Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be on a pretty special flight. We're going to be on the Airbus A380 on British Airways. We're also going to be taking it in Club Europe, which is British Airways business class. And it's a day of first for me today. It's my first time on the 380 and it's my first time flying business. We're going to go through security in a second. We'll use fast track. We'll head into the lounge. We've got about six hours before the flight, so I intend on making a full use of it. And then we're going to head over to Madrid. Our flight today departs at 15.15, with bag drop opening three hours before departure. When flying business, you're able to use these dedicated business check-in desks, which are situated towards the south of the terminal. They're in and around zone H. And it's from here that we'll make use of our fast track security pass to go airside via the south security zone. Fast track consists of a dedicated entrance with two security lanes, and really, Thanks. no queue at all. You're then deposited into the departure lounge in the same place that you would have arrived via regular security. Well, how about that? Fast track security, actually fast track security. That was great. It really does save a lot of time not queuing up around uh, lines all the way, doesn't it? Through in about 30 seconds. Let's go check out the Galleries South Lounge and get some breakfast. Galleries South is pretty well signed. You just head up this escalator and into this sort of foyer area here, which is actually where the first wing is located off to the left. And to the right, which is the direction that we're gonna be traveling in, is the Concord Room. I would really love to go into the Concord Room someday. It's another escalator up though for us into the attic of Terminal 5, past the famous horse and this stunning A380 model. A little bit smaller though than the one that we'll be flying on later on today. Let's check into that lounge then and eat that breakfast. Cool, thank you. Whilst wandering around trying to find a seat, let's have a quick look at some of the lounge amenities. Dotted around the lounge are these tea and coffee bars, complete with biscuits and breakfast pastries. There's also a bar area, featuring a good choice of spirits, hard drinks, red wine and beer. Adjacent to which, there was white wine and champagne. I found an empty set of seats overlooking the threshold of 09 right, which will suit me great for a few hours that I'll be here. Post COVID, any lounge food must be ordered to your table via the QR code and your phone. Simply scan the QR code and the site pops up. Drop in the code of the day and your name and you're in. A few taps later and it's ordered. And 10 minutes later, breakfast is here. So that was the Galleries South Lounge. I actually really enjoyed that. I thought there was so much on offer. The breakfast roll was pretty decent, um, although I was expecting maybe a full English, but I guess I'm not traveling first class, so uh, expectations should be a little bit lower than what they were. Um, the bacon sandwich was pretty nice, um, along with the hash brown that was slapped on it too. Uh, and there was loads of booze around as well. I was a little bit nervous to go up and grab the booze at 9 a.m. Um, I was working this morning, so maybe it was best that I didn't. I just grabbed, uh, I think, a Sprite and a big bottle of water. And there was a lot of people around, so a couple of people did sit near me, but the way the lounge moves and people are sort of traveling on different flights, people got off and moved off fairly soon. So there was always sort of free seats coming up, which was nice. I also visited the Galleries North Lounge, which had much the same facilities as the Galleries South, and I had a spot of lunch. So over in Pier B now, um, spoons are shut. Bit of a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Never. Um, Last time I was over here was actually my flight to New York back in November 19, so about two years ago. And I think I published that video March 2020, link in the description and up in the top right now. Um, I've just realized that when I published that video, the US was open and then it closed a couple of days after. And the US only opened on Monday this week. Where has the time gone? I'm gonna head upstairs and try the, what they're calling the Gallery South which I think is just the PRB lounge. Let's see if we can get in there. Up yet another escalator then. And a scan of the boarding pass later, we're in the third lounge of the day. I can really see why this lounge is the favorite amongst regulars. It's certainly my favorite of the day so far. Spacious and quiet with the most comfortable seats and charging outlets. There's great views of Pier C and our A380 over there in the distance. This lounge features the same great bar selection as the other two. 
Anyway, you're not here for lounges, you're here for planes. So let's head over to the gate. One of the great things about piers B and C at T5 is that you go underground to access them. Meaning that as you're climbing up into the pier, you go through ground level and you've got some great views of the aircraft. Most of the time when you film these sort of videos, you just get a lot of weird looks from weird people wondering why the heck you're taking photos or videos of the plane. When you put an A380 on a short haul European route, everyone's here doing the same thing. So everyone appreciates what you're doing. Gate 55 is today's gate. Let's get a little bit closer and take a look at it. We're on Echo Foxtrot today. If I do a little spin, here she is. My big head's in the way. There we go, look at that. So this aircraft flew over to Frankfurt this morning, I believe. This is the second rotation of the day. And I believe it's this one that's been doing the rotations all week as well. This particular flight's been delayed a couple of hours, Monday, Tuesday. So I'm hopeful, fingers crossed, that we'll get away on time and we'll be able to see that beautiful wing lift up in the daylight. So as we said right at the top of the video, this is my first time on an A380. So I am pretty bloody excited right now. But just look at the number of jet bridges that you need to service an aircraft like this. Now I'll just point out that it's only the main deck, so the, the bottom deck that's open today. The upper deck, the, uh, the upstairs, isn't open. That's being used for crew training. Although stay tuned for a tour of the upper deck, thanks to our lovely crew at the end of the video. If you look at all the bridges that you need, you've got three bridges there. I think normally two of those connect into the L1 and L2 lower doors. And then you have the far bridge, which you'll see connects to the uh, top, the first door on the top that you can see just there. And we're all gonna come down just over here at gate C55. Almost ready to go now. We're in group one, so pretty much the first aboard. As I think everybody knows, first class is shut today, and that'll be where rows one to four are. Normally boarding down that jet bridge. As I said, just one jet bridge over, which is door B. We're going to head down here and get on board. Look at that for a view. Let's step on board the A380 for my first time. Wow, look at first class. It's lovely, isn't it? This is where my meal will come from later in the flight. And this is us, 10A, at the front of the main deck Club World Cabin. I'll pop you on the seat whilst I sort my gear out. And I'll pop you here now that it's all sorted. I could get used to this. Just look at how much leg room we've got here. Literally leg room for days. You can definitely stretch out quite well on here. But the perk about having the window seat is it means no one's going to climb over you to get in. Whereas on here, I have to climb over my seatmate. Storage within this seat is pretty poor, but you do have this drawer by your feet which fits most things that you'll need. Your bag though will need to go into the overhead locker. As you can see, this is the best seat for engine views on the main deck. So that is dead on quarter past three, and we're pushing back bang on time today. It's a rainy and fairly miserable day at Heathrow, but nothing will dampen my spirits of flying on board this beast. Just before we take off, let's have a look at the safety card. Issue three, we're on now. Gamba through. I always say it's always worth having a look, especially when it's the first time you've been on board a particular aircraft.
we're lining up now to take off on runway 27 right. aerodynamics of the rain on the aircraft, coupled with the wing position, makes the second window in 10A the point at which the water gushes over the fuselage. I've learned that autofocus is an absolute bitch. Believe me, you're not as disappointed as I am in this takeoff footage. As we climb out and speed up to rid ourselves of the rain, let's take a look at the route that we'll be taking today. Taking off to the west, we'll start to make our way towards the southwest and away from London. Climbing up to 41,000 feet, we'll go past the Isle of Wight and then cross over the northwestern tip of France before crossing the Bay of Biscay. We'll then make landfall around Santander, where just after we'll start our descent, with our approach taking us around Madrid to line up from the south and landing on runway 32 left. Time in the air today is just under 1 hour and 50 minutes. We had some lovely views on the climb out, surfing above the clouds in the low autumn sunshine. I just had to leave these in the video. The wingspan of the A380 is 79.8 meters or 261.8 feet. And did you know that the wings sweep back at 33.5 degrees? On this particular aircraft, the engines are manufactured by Rolls-Royce, with each of them generating up to 80,000 pounds of thrust, helped on by their 116 inch or 2.95 meter front fan. This is the old Club World seat, and this particular seat faces towards the rear. It comes with this entertainment system, which BA started to roll out on their fleet in 2010. The screen is 12.1 inches and headphones were provided. You can also control it via this remote or via the touchscreen. Let's have a look at the in-flight map, which was functional but a bit dated. There's also no outside cameras on BA's A380s. Just beneath the screen is a tray table, which pops out at the forceful press of a button. and can be used in half or full mode, it slides backwards and forth too. It's not the most sturdy or steady tray table, but it can hold your laptop just fine, but I'd keep your drink closer to the wall of the seat. Before long, the crew came around with peanuts and took my drinks order. BA A380 in business class. It's a treat, so champagne it is. Clearly not wanting to show you any of this, I popped open the IFE again as the champagne was delivered. Hi again. Sorry, I'm not used to business class trip reports. A late lunch or early dinner was next on the service list. So we've got our meal service now. We've gone for the aubergine rigatoni. We've got a nice little side salad there. And a nice little dessert with the signature dough and co chocolate on too. What's got this little bread roll, which is warm, fairly squishy, bit of butter, and some salad dressing. Just grabbed another champagne. And everything, as you can see, is served on this one day tray today. Day. It's safe to say that as I munched my way through my meal, I was fairly happy at 41,000 feet. The food was warm and tasty, and not overbearing on portion size. Having finished off my meal using my metal cutlery for the first time on board an aircraft, my attention now turns to dessert. Which although I can't tell you exactly what it was, it was very nice to eat. 
With the tray table cleared, I think it's time to look around the cabin and check out that loo. The main deck Club World cabin features these yin yang seats in a 242 layout, which is one additional row compared to the upper deck, which is in a 232 layout. Each seat in this cabin was occupied on my flight. Working towards the rear, there's two loos on this side. So here's our loo on the business class cabin on the main deck on the A382 British Airways. We've got about 30, 40 minutes until we touch down in Madrid now. I think we've just started our initial descent. I feel the engine's throttling back and the altitude starts to drop a little bit. Let's have a quick look around here. It's fairly spacious. I wouldn't say it's any more spacious than any other lounge that I've been into recently. Having a quick look around, you can see it's a little bit dirty. We're about an hour, 10 into the flight. Um, but there are some amenities here. We've got a luxury hand balm, the white company stuff, which is what the company BA use for their bedding on long haul flights. Bathroom's a little bit smaller than what I thought it would be, actually. We've got a changing shelf here. If we change into your pajamas, should be if I decide to bring those back. How are you finding it so far? Let us know in the comments and I'll give you my thoughts and feedback at the end of the video. Let's head back to my seat, 10A. This seat features many buttons. A lot of them are used to adjust the seat into a bed. You've also got charging in the form of a USB-A port to the side. Got a universal power port down here and a USB type A charger. There's a sick bag and your safety card in here too. There's also a bit of room behind the seat, which is ideal for taking photos from the first window in the cabin. You can't quite see out of this window from the seat due to the privacy shield near your head. So this seat does fold down into a life flat there. It's really quite well padded. I think I could definitely get a decent night's sleep on it. I'll demonstrate this now with the utmost grace. Note, the divider screen also goes up and down too, although my neighbour controlled this on my behalf. You'll need to manually lower the footrest at the end of the bed. There's a fair amount of headroom too, I'd say. So we've started our descent now on into Madrid. The sun is just setting out of these really small windows. Had a lovely flight so far. I managed to try out the bed. We've been fed and we've been watered. We've got about 20 minutes to run down until we're on the ground. The captain has now switched on the fasten seatbelt signs as we shortly be landing at Madrid. One of the interesting things about the A380 is just how thick these side walls are. So they're a good six inches thick between the plastic here and the external glass. I'm not sure if that's because Airbus put some extra insulation in there to make the cabin quieter or whatever the reason may be. But it does make it quite difficult to film outside because of the distance between the two. The camera find it quite hard to focus as well. Stick around until after landing where we'll look at the first class cabin and we'll receive a tour of the upper deck. As we head for our landing now, make sure you keep an eye on the wing tip. Just look at how much lift the wing loses once the spoilers are deployed. The wing curves upwards so much in flight versus the negative curve when on the ground. I guess that's hardly surprising though, given that each wing weighs in the region of 30 tonnes. As everyone alights, let's go and check out First Class. So as you can see, First Class, you get a lot of room. You get little vanity units like this. Put your controller in there. All your recline functions down here. That's where your table is. 
We've got electronically dimmable windows on here. And this lovely light switch. You can also have a, a guest sitting up here. There's an additional seat belt. A slightly bigger screen than what you would normally get um, on one of these aircraft. The light leg room is probably about the same actually. Uh, and the seat itself does feel a little bit more padded. Look at the space that you get on here. Is there any chance I'll be able to sneak upstairs as well? Yeah, that would be fine. Is that all right? Just wait till everyone's up. And Super, then, yeah. thank you. An absolutely huge shout out to Rosie now, one of the cabin crew on board. Sorry, I really do hope that was your name. I've gone through frame by frame to try and read your name tag. I didn't write it down. But thank you so much for offering to give me not only a tour of the upper deck, but the whole aircraft too. Thank you. I'm just going to take them upstairs. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Bill. Bye-bye. <laughs> I've been on the 380 <laughs> yeah. um, Monday and Tuesday. Oh, okay. So I did the Frankfurts. Yeah. So they were the first ones going in the Madrid to going in the afternoon. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, brilliant. But other than that, yeah, I came back to February from furlough. So, yeah. yeah, this oh, is yeah. upstairs. These are huge toilets. Like, I was say, bloody hell. <laughs> you can live with that. That is enormous, isn't it? Gosh, I've never seen anything as big. I know. Okay. It's huge, isn't it? It's my yeah. first time flying on a 380, yeah, so I'm uh, it's amazing, isn't it, geeking out a bit. Bar. Yeah. It's it's brilliant. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having us. No worries. <laughs> no so this is the pub galley. Oh, super. They always seem so small for like the number of yeah. people that they feed out of. <laughs> Just get so much space, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Economy. Yes. So they did have plans to completely reconfigure this and yeah. do it all as club. Right. So I don't know if that will still be the plan. Obviously, COVID to kind of stop that. Yeah. And this will go downstairs for the first. Thing. Yeah, because it, I think it's one of the only airlines with clubs yeah. split across two decks, isn't yeah. it? Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. Yeah, I'm I could say, you make a I'm killing, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah I'll get the bill yet. when I get to the stairs, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is your travel economy upstairs. Super. You get so much more space in the bins as well at the side, yeah. right? I'm flying back in economy on, in a yeah. minute, actually. I'm These spinning back. The back are a lot smaller, though, so we will oh, struggle with like, the overhead oh, I didn't know lockers. That. Yeah. That's where we struggle, isn't it? Getting the bag in like here. Right. That's good to know. So you don't want to sit here because no. you never get your bag in. Yeah, yeah. They're quite nice. Yeah. They're nice ones to get. Yeah. Oh, super. And this on the back galley will be a good route. Fun one, but it's a bit this is the busier to, one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's trying yeah. to because obviously you've got the traveller and the traveller plus. Yeah. So you're trying to figure out getting traveller plus out first, then that, all like yeah. manoeuvre around. Oh, wow. Like yeah. This feels a lot smaller than like the 777 yeah. sort of rear galley. It's small. Like, Very wow. Small. And then, yeah, you've got these carpet seats. You've got to sit on. It's going to get a little free. Well, that's coming to be on top, isn't it? <laughs> Do you get like a crew rest on here as well then for yes, the long one? Yes, so that's lower deck. So yeah. these are It's just so hard to comprehend the size of it until you want it, is it? It's like a spaceship, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Hello. Who's that? Hi. Yeah, oh, okay. So are you guys... Yeah, so we've only sold the bottoms. Yeah. Then upstairs, all the crew do like a refresher. So go oh, through right. all equipment, things like that. Yeah. And then the, the crew, they will sort around halfway. That's really good, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good because like, nobody's flown on it. Yeah. Like the oh, other aircraft. Yeah. I can imagine it must be like a it's brand new thing been, again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's not been flown on. Yeah. But it's not been out. Whereas the other ones have been still flying here yeah. and everywhere. So everyone's got to have an actual refresher course and an aircraft yeah. visit before they're allowed to do this. So. Right. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, you I guess it's just such a unique sort of plane as well, yeah. isn't it? Because of the size of it, exactly. it must be a challenge to sort of kick back off yeah, on it. Yeah, so all really. the pilots, so we're doing this for the pilots, so it'll be just yeah. like this month it's short haul, so then they need to get their hours up to do take off and landings to be able to do the long haul. Got you. Because obviously they haven't flown it either. It's just, it's just been sat there. Yeah, it's just so nice to be back yeah. travelling again and flying, like Definitely. whichever way you want to take it. Cheers. Yeah, you just couldn't get anything. Yeah. It's 
belly's a lot bigger. Oh, okay. Downstairs traveller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, but you only have a uh, traveller down here. You don't have like three people coming to upstairs. Got you. So it's all like one sort of service. Yeah, it's that's that's easy. That's yeah. I mean, it really is nice. Can I check the stuff? Yeah, it's quite big. Yeah. And as you can see, the bins are a lot bigger. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I never realised that the bins are different yeah. here than what they are in the club as well. Like yeah. these, like fold in rather than push up, don't they? That's where our crew rest is. Oh, okay. Do we go down? Ah, oh, I didn't realise that. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. You're giving this like you know what you're talking about. This is Henry. He, does half, he comes in and does half the job. That's me. That's me. <laughs> when you can get away with half a job, then uh, I know away with it. So it's fine, fine, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> and then, yeah, back to back to where we were. Yeah. Oh, thanks so much for the tour. That's okay. If you want to have a little bit more in the first Cheers, yeah, I might do a few bits. Are you okay being on video? Or do you want me to like blow you out or anything? Fine, Are you I'm okay fine. with it? Yeah, you're fine. So it's got to check first. Yeah, no, that's good. Thank you. Thank you yeah, I'll have a quick nose and I'll run yeah, off and then I'll uh, come back. Can I be that guy? We are like crew of the people. Too. You are the picture people, aren't you? Yeah. That's all so, we do, we literally we go just take pictures. down route and we get pictures on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Is that alright? Yeah, go for it. We've got this passenger here, he's having a picture. Oh, thank you. I'm sure they'll be amazing. Thank you. It's brilliant. Happy? Yeah, super. Cool. Thanks so much. That's all right. Well, I'll, I'll see you in a bit then. Yeah, I'll see you in about 20 minutes, I'll probably run around Madrid now. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. See ya. So how about that then? How good was that flight? That was amazing. Thank you so much to the amazing BA crew. As ever, they were fantastic. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. And let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. And please subscribe for the next video, which I'm about to shoot which is the economy flight back to Heathrow. Thanks for watching, stay safe, see you next time.